Well, I don't know where I'm going. I mean, I know I'm going to Ireland. I'm scared. Ireland. I've got to get an Arctic onto a boat. How do you think? I d I do, but it's, it doesn't make doesn't make it less scary, does it? I don't even know which ferry I'm taking. Is it Liverpool? Is it higher up? What is it? I'm gonna sit down and wait, mate. Just relax. Right, yeah, yeah, because I can relax right now. Are you new? I am new. Haven't met you. You look Lena. at me like you already met me. Yeah, Lena. Yeah, what's your Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, I'm James. <laughs> my, uh, my reputation precedes myself. <laughs> oh my God, why is he doing this to me? Can't he just let me go somewhere? <sighs> at least when I'm loading, I'm not like nervous. Uh, I'm going to Ireland today. Ireland? I'm going to be Irish. Woohoo. Nights out. Two, maybe. Two nights out. Oh. Nights out. I, food, boats, and I think I have. I have four, ba uh, four bags with me. Well, my normal bag, then yeah. my sleeping bag, then my food bag. Nice to meet you, Lena. And you. Have a good time in Ireland. No, but what if, <laughs> I, if I can't find the entrance or something? What if, what what if, if I go, go to the bit where the cars go on and then you get stuck? What if I go to the bit where the sea is and I'm like in the sea <laughs> instead of both? Say hello <laughs> to my viewers. To your viewers. Say subscribe, Lena Tracker. <laughs> follow me, be that track. Follow no, me, follow me, follow yeah. me. Yeah. Have Good. fun. Where are you going then? In Ireland. Yeah. I'm breaking it. I've never gone into a ferry. No, you are right. It's a good thing. And in the Nordic as well. Oh my God. Uh, and the weather's going to be really bad. Is it? It's going to be choppy. The What's that? Once I'm off the off the ferry, I don't. You know, I'll On the take ferry, it steady. No, but they chain them up. Yeah, I know. Do I have like, to sit in the lorry whilst we're well, like... I don't know. I've never done it. I, I, I was... I, where you get where about to go in Cork? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I think they're at... Um, Whatever cost there. Wales. You might be going to uh, Wales. Just Wales. The, uh, cost the box. Mm. He tells me nothing. Uh, this is all of the, your... Mine. Oh, uh, okay. I'm <laughs> good. I'm You've going, got everything. I'm going to Ireland. Ah, all right. Two, maybe How? three days. Ah, for two, three days. Okay, that's I'm fine. Scared. What if I get stuck on the ferry and Christmas will be over? What if I... What if I get lost? You ever driven over there before? Never! Never in my life! Why did you, I bet you volunteered to do this as well, didn't you? I bet you're like, More or less, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know when you're nervous, you want to do things. Yeah, yeah, you I know. You want to sit around? Yeah. Tell me something to do. <laughs> Here's my wheels for the next two, three days. Let's get acquainted. On the ferry. Easy, 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 easy. I don't know where to come in. I don't know where to come out. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure. It'll be easy for you because you're speaking. Oh. I ask everybody everything, yeah? 10 minutes for paperwork. Well, 10 minutes. I know, it's gonna take me that long. Uh, that when one. you go now, Uh, 10 minutes. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Are you scared for me? I am. Morning, guys. Today is 15th of December, 10 days until Christmas. All very exciting. And today I'm also very, very scared. I am tramping. I am going out for two, maybe three days and I'm going on the ferry. I don't know which ferry yet. I know it's at half past two. I know I need to go to Banbury and get loaded quickly. <coughs> and then I have to make it quick to the ferry and I've got paperwork and my boss says he will uh, text me and explain me everything that's happening. So I've agreed to this. I'm driving a Renault. I will show you some buttons around the Renault. I will show you what I'm doing. I am, I'm gonna hopefully show you how I'm getting onto a ferry in an Arctic, which is very, very scary for me. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I am here, ready to be loaded. But I have two trucks in front of me. I'm gonna go to the office. I'm gonna speak to them and see what they say. Um, I'm going to Cork. Uh, Cork, uh, Ireland. Oh, it's for you guys. It's for me, oh my God. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened. Well, what we'll do is we'll get it on, uh -huh. and then we'll feed that other top so it's your last strap, and then it should all hold into place. Yeah, just so it's at the back, all the way to Ireland. I'm going on a ferry. Oh yeah. I've never been. Is it scary? Have you? In the lorry? Not a lorry, no. <sighs> so you go into Ireland over the Irish Sea. Oh, it's like that, up and down. And <laughs> <it's> like <this laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody said they're gonna chain the lorry down somewhere. Yeah, they do, they do want Irish Sea. Yeah. My yeah. God. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, we'll give you hand anyway. Then you Thank you. That would be amazing. <sighs> Just sheds again. Yeah. We normally take them Swindon and stuff. Yeah. What about Sir Alan? Cork. Somewhere oh, in Cork. South, and there's no postcode or anything. So I'm trying to Google it. I'm asking my boss. My boss would know well, surely. I still don't even know where I'm um, going on. Like which ferry? Liverpool or, or, or Wales or what? So I'm going to Dairy Gold. But look, Dairy Gold, Dairy Gold. There's like three of them. Will it be superstore? Will it be building materials or will it be... It's not going to be milk, is it? So it's got to be building materials. There's no postcode. They're, they're like, no, you don't need postcode. Just put it into Google and it'll come up. Well, this is what comes up. <laughs> so, you know, at least I'll have enough <laughs> days. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll be going checking them all, I suppose. I'll go to buildings first. Building. Do you think it'll be building? It'll be building as well, isn't it? Or superstore. It could be superstore. Yeah. See, there's no place good on there either. It's just island, it says country cork, county cork. I see. God knows. And it's all county cork, county cork, yeah. All three of them. Well, do you know what he could do is ring them and say, well, which, we've got... Which, which address is Which it one are you, mate? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that will help. But you don't even know where... Um, where I'm starting from, where nothing. Where you sailing from? Nothing, I know nothing. Literally, they keep me in the dark. Hopefully, once I've loaded, he'll, he'll tell me something. It's got to be Liverpool from here, doesn't it? I think so, yeah. Oh, where else? Because it's right across. Look at this map. I'll take it one step at a time. <laughs> what else can I do? I've been in the ferry once in the car, but my husband drove, so I don't even remember like looking out for signs or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Oh, God help me. <laughs> if I miss a sign and it goes somewhere wrong, it won't no, be half as good. I'll let you know if I come back. <laughs> How it went. Do you load out to be quite regular then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here all the time. We normally go to Swindon. Uh, there's Wigan, I've been. Is that from you? I think you sent us to Wigan. Oh, no, no, that's a different one. Uh, Swindon. Darlington. We'll go to Darlington in Argos. Oh, Argos. Yeah, Darlington, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, at least I know what I'm pulling and we'll see if it goes to plan. Am I allowed in the car well, as I say? You wouldn't know, would you? You get a, you get a bunk get on there. Oh, would you? Yeah, you get a bunk, so you've got your own shower and everything in there. Uh -huh. Not allowed in your car. So I get all my crap out that I need for the night. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I better sell that before I stop there. Because i got about four bags with me. I'm going to put like whatever I need just for one night and just one. Yeah. So I don't look like I'm homeless completely. That's <laughs> not so far, uh, Four hour drive. He wants ah, me there 20, by okay. half past two. 20, yeah. Maybe I'll make it. And where is an island, the city? Where you? I'm going to uh, um, Cork. So maybe. Is there no lorries? Past there. No, but when you're there, you see the sign. No lorry here, no lorry there. It's easy, come on. I hope so. Look in the coast, in the seaside already, so yeah, you can yeah, see, yeah, you can yeah, have a walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should take your bicycle with you. When you're on break, you drive around. I didn't even bring my walking shoes because oh, I got right. too much food, too much crap, coffee, cattle. I wish I knew something. I mean, you know, I'll do it once. I'll do it maybe twice and then at least I can say I've been yeah, there and yeah. I actually yeah. know something. Because yeah. at the moment I'm literally clueless. Don't know what I'm pulling until I got here. Yeah. Don't know where I'm going, don't know what time, more or less. I don't know where to, I don't know, so I still don't know where I'm landing. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Well done. I'll see you next time. You forgot your strap, but I'm, I will see you again here, I'm sure. Because you're extra helpful. <laughs> you welcome. Thanks. Have a good day. Strapped, ready to go. I am going to. Pembroke. Let me just check this for you. Oh, geez, yeah, Pembroke Dock SA72, and I've got to be there for half past two. Boss says.
but I'm not gonna be there till half past two, uh, by half past two because it's half, almost 11 o'clock. In fact, we'll see what happens. Those two guys there, they were ever so nice helping me with straps. They said, before I even started loading, they said, oh, we'll help you, we'll help you, we'll strap it around the back because they like to have them crisscrossed. Um, so I'm thinking, thank you very much. I'm saying thank you very much. And then towards the end, um, the guy that's loading me, he says, you're pretty much done on one side. I'm a bit fast here. You're pretty, you're pretty much done on one side. You can start strapping in. So I went to, to find those two guys thinking, okay, can you help me do the back? Because uh, I wanted it ratchet strapped rather than just internal straps. Because at the ferry, <clears throat> you never know how rocket it's gonna be. Ah! So I went to find them and they are by the lorry, some of the lorry and they're strapping that lorry. So I'm thinking, okay, well, they must be here helping people strap, that's their job. So I said, would you please come and help me please? Because <clears throat> I'm ready, I'm pretty much ready. Yeah, yeah, no problem, they say. Well, I said one strap, one side is done, but the other side's not quite done yet. So it's best to wait until they're both done, to be fair, to start strapping the back. Um, the other, the sides I've already done. Yeah, yeah, they say that actually does make sense. So, um, uh, I said, okay, well, whilst uh, whilst we're waiting for the other side for me to get loaded, I am going to help you strap this lorry because, you know, why not? You help me, I help you, that sort of thing. Uh, strapped their lorry, uh, went to my lorry, started strapping my lorry. I said to them, so is this your job, just to, just to help people strap and, you know, strap the the trailers that are ready to go out and ready to be picked up. No, they say, no, we are those two lorries at the very end. We are the drivers of those lorries. <laughs> and I said, oh no, I'm so sorry. I thought you literally just uh, strap us. They just strap us. <laughs> they just don't know. But we're very happy to help anybody. And I said, well, that's very noble of you. So uh, yeah, they, they really helped me out loads. Now I don't mind being rocketed on the ferry. <laughs> let's go, let's go.
just saw a sign. I'm not sure if I'll see it again or not. Uh, but a yellow sign with lorries on it. Look, looking like a sign that would lead me to a ferry. And it says a vehicle inspection ahead. If you're directed to a checkpoint, you need to go to that checkpoint. And uh, they may inspect my load or something, I don't know. It's also very new to me. Well, it was sunny, but not anymore. Now it's raining heavily. <laughs> and in about half an hour, I'm gonna need a break. And I'm not getting out into this rain. Nah. -uh. We just got to Wales. Look at the signs. We've got English and Welsh. We have crossed one border so far and we've not even had a break yet good progress good progress <laughs> Walking around, feeling free Thinking about what's happened to me from July Up till now, don't know where, don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true, I'm so glad you feel it too Nothing to hide, I'm falling in love having a break my driving time is at four o'clock and I don't want a chance any longer I never do really to be on the safe side look how beautiful it is here wow I only need half an hour here and I wanted to eat something I have a banana with me but oh my gosh look at the river wow so I might just, instead of eating, I might just go for a walk somewhere and uh, enjoy the scenery before the light completely disappears because it is slowly getting darker and darker. And uh, maybe I will eat something on the ferry. I don't know what's gonna happen on the ferry. I don't know what's gonna happen, how to get on the ferry. I've never done anything like this before. It's all very exciting, it's all very scary, but for now I can just um, chill out and have a little walk. I'll see you after. That was amazing. A little bit cold. And I think I went for about 50 minutes. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. Loved it much, much better than food. About what's happened to me from July up till now, don't know where, don't know how. These mountains are really something, they're so gorgeous, they're so big. I can't show you very much because I'm losing light really, really fast now. Uh, my boss just texted me, he says, My um, my ferry is quarter past eight gonna be there for quarter past eight or well I'm gonna be there for five anyway so I think there's waiting places somewhere for me to wait take a break um, he says get three hours break there so later on when I'm driving again I'm gonna take nine and it's not going to be a reduced rest uh, because when you do three and nine that 
that counts as 12. <laughs> that counts as your, instead of your 11 hour daily rest, it's, uh, it's a daily rest. So that'll be fun. I'll have a break there. And then once I'm in Ireland, I'm gonna need to, I don't know how long I'll get to drive. He says, try and get a break. Try and park up somewhere by half past 12 at night. And then I'll be asleep till nine. And then I'm gonna drive some more. And I'm gonna find a place, hopefully, where I'm tipping this load. That is a long way to tip a load. Not that I'm complaining. It's amazing. Uh, this noise you keep hearing. Grrr. I'll show you again. Uh, uh, that's me going over the white lines. Um, whatever this button does, you can switch it off. I don't like switching it off because at least I know how far I am from the curb, how far I am from the other traffic going the other direction. But if the road is empty, I'm going in the middle of it, more or less. Uh, yes, it's a handy thing to have. Right, see you on the ferry as I'm getting on. I'll try and film for you, whatever I can. I don't need for him to overtake me because there's like uh, one, two, there's a tanker. One, two, three, four, five. So there's loads of us. I am going to follow all of them. But don't lose track of the signs, okay? Ah. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go to Dublin as well. Well, it says cars and coaches on somewhere else, and I'm going behind all of the lorries. So I think that's where all the lorries are going. <laughs> Well, there's like freight and there's like three, three 
like lanes but they all queuing in one so I'm just gonna queue behind them but they have foreign number plates yeah. Yeah. Why have they turned me away? Is there somewhere to turn around if they do? Oh, I'm so nervous <laughs> and excited, but mostly nervous. The, the truck, the truck one took me straight here, which was really good. And the Google map says to keep going straight and then sort of left and left. I suppose that's for cars. My truck one literally took me to Irish Freight place. The scariest place in the whole world. End of the world. End of the world indeed. Yeah, the end of the world. And there's like a booth. But why is it just... Like there's lots of entrances but there's the, like everybody's going just into here. I'm obviously going just into here as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Follow up. Once you've spoken to someone, ask them all the questions. Where am I going? Is this the right one? Ah. I've got, I need to go to call. L to listen to them, okay? Listen to them. I'll forget in two okay. seconds because I'm so nervous. There was like a waiting area where you sort of just park up and, and wait to board the ferry, but then somebody, so I suppose somebody comes to get you. Well, they, everyone will just set off in line, yeah. They're just, uh, there'll, be, there'll be a man there in a higher business waiting wave you in. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Somebody will point and I will just follow follow the leader. Do you know how to dump all the, the suspension out of your trailer? Um, um, like, they, they'll know. Is, they it on know. The, is it on the bag, that lever? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Do I need they, to get they, the suspension down on my unit as well? I don't know. See what they say. Hi. I, I would have thought so, though, when you still pull the space out of everything. I've strapped, and then the, I've strapped everything really well. Have you? Yeah. Oh, you strapped the load enough? Strapped the whole load because, you know, just in case it wobbles on the seat. Definitely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're falling in love. Yeah, it's like a way bridge. Is that what you need? Two six. Yes. C for Charlie. Three four. What's inside the trailer? Um, it's a it's a load uh, from Kita and it's sheds for like outside. Yeah. Lane three one five. Lane three one five. How where do it? How? It's my first time. Can you tell? Through the sheds. Yeah. Yeah. So take a sharp left. It's about uh, half a mile up the road. Uh huh. And then you'll see uh, Terminal Three is on on the board there. Terminal Three, Lane Three One Five. Three One Five. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Well Wish me luck. Yeah. Well <laughs> sharp left. Did you hear? like sardines really close to each other um, yeah. and that's it really no that you don't take um, trailer off you just leave it dump it I suppose <laughs> oh exit is the way that way because just in case I don't have documents or something oh my gosh that I'm gonna just follow one of the lorries for now Merge. 
merge lanes, all traffic that way. He's going quite fast though. It says 20, to be fair, I'm only doing 15. It's because I'm scared. Hasty hey, beast. This is, this is exactly what I saw in the video. It was like a, a swirly thing. And it says HGVs this way. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep up. Do you think he sends everybody to 315? Yeah, some might be going to court. Yeah, some might be going to Dublin. Or maybe, maybe it's on weight. Maybe it's on lap height. I'll pack in different places. He didn't ask my height. I'm very high. Where's that lorry gone? What if I like, keep up with him but he's going the wrong place? Ah. Do you see other people in Ibis anywhere? Nope. I think I've lost him, have I? Oh, T2, T3. Uh -huh. So I presume I'll call it T, T3. Confusing and dark. It's really dark, so I can't see anything. Wow. Okay. So trailer park left, and then T3 left as well, and T5 is straight on. But I'm going to T3, I presume, because he said. So maybe I find the T3 and then I find one five. Okay, so I found T3. Three one, three one three, three one four, three one five. I found my lane. How did you know which lane to send me in? It probably works, yeah. <laughs> loads of lorries in like a lane on the left and I would have just joined them but it's a good job he told me the actual line lane line oh my gosh oh my gosh what's gonna happen next do you know I don't okay me neither me neither me neither thanks for holding my hand through this I think we're just stopping and waiting not that I can see much. I don't know if the, if the people in lorries. I think there's people in lorries. So, yeah, there's people in lorries. I reckon we'll just sit here and wait, I suppose. Shall I put on the brake? Yeah, Fantastic, I made it. I made it. I feel like I'm made. Thank you. Right, I better text Jason, tell him I made it. I made it! You can do it regularly. I made it! So much fun. Right, let's see what the boss says. I think he sent me reference, ah, oh, tomorrow's reference number. I bet you can't see my excited face. I made it! I made it. I'm so happy I made it. Right, I'm going to charge my cameras so that when I'm at the cab I can go and film for you something on the ferry. I don't think I'll be able to film much because it's very dark. It's uh, half past five. <sighs> Maybe a little bit of water though. Just a little bit. Yeah, I made it! Right. I'm going to relax and chill out and maybe have some food. I'm a little bit hungry um, because I didn't have my food on my break. I just went for a walk. I made it! And today I'm starting with a chicken curry. My husband made it for me yesterday. And it is amazing. Thank you, husband. Delicious. I'm gonna sit here. I don't know if I'm on a boat yet or what. It doesn't look like it. It looks like Tama. What's happening? Most nobody told me what's happening after I park up. I just followed the drivers. <laughs> Right, break time. There's a guy here. He's walking around, opening trailers and putting um, seals on them. I think he's checking things.
way here. I might as well uh, figure out what's happening in my lorry. Do you want me to show you around? Let me get my bed ready and then I'll... been sitting here for a while one hour and 24 minutes so far so this is my bed check this out nice and comfy this one's a bit useless not gonna use that got tiny little lights here like this I've got night light which is red you can't see it at the moment I've got some compartments <gasps> Ooh, I'm gonna use that here I have my camera things and tissue, documents for the lorry, in case I need them. Some bits and pieces here, some bags, a fridge, hopefully my cream will stay nice and cold for tomorrow morning, another light here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not, curtains, definitely going to use them a bit. Yeah. So, not bad for a lorry. Let's chill out. Watch a movie. An hour and a half I've almost been here. So I might as well relax. Oh, it gets so dirty here. In Mercedes you got a flat floor, so you know, it's a little bit more like a room. Whereas this is a little bit more like a lorry like a class two lorry, but that's okay. Let's see how comfy this bed is. You're not gonna see me. The seat needs to go forward. Oh yeah, that works. Little pocket in the back of the seat to put my things in. Okay, a little light. Shine here, big light off. And if somebody comes to get me, I can probably... What is that for? Oh, that's on my way. It's for that bed, isn't it? Who needs two beds? Honestly. Night heater. 12 watt, 24 watt. Don't need any of that. Yeah, you know, I might be quite comfy here. Hopefully. Quite soft. I'm not going to bed yet. Just gonna relax and watch a movie. Whilst I'm waiting. Had my dinner. Had some coffee. Nothing else to do. Look how pretty my night lights are. Ooh, my roof uh, vent thing. Lots of lorries outside, we're all waiting. Waiting to get on the boat. I'm all blocked in. Ooh. Everybody started starting up their engines, so I've started up mine. How do they know what's happening? Nobody knows what's happening. Well, everybody knows what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. We've been here for two hours, 20. I think we're moving in a minute. Onto a boat. What's happening? What's happening? Are we going? Huh? What's happening? Yeah, Are we going? Very slow. For first time. Do you come here a lot, do you? Yeah. All the time? Okay. Oh. Should be fine then. Are they going to direct us where to go? Yeah. Trucks are moving, people are going, things are happening. 
my lane is still stationary. <sighs> Apparently somebody will be directing us. He says pretty much straight on onto the boat. Let's take all the papers with you. Because those are the rules, you gotta take everything with you to prove your identity. I wonder if I need to take my um, licenses and stuff. Boy. Looks like other drivers are getting out, so guess what? I'm getting out! All closing devices. We're moving! Take care when opening and closing the oh, And particularly when the ship. I'm gonna go upstairs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can get free food as well. Oh, really? Do you want to go to the shop? Yes, we're going to go to the shop. Yes, we're going to go Укаси, укаси. Все по-русски говорят, классно, мне нравится. Выбирайте еду, ага. Интересно, как? Я даже не знала. А что я хочу? Я, в принципе, не голодная. Не, я кофе не хочу, я водички. А круассан я хочу. Я возьму. Можно? Все можно? Все даю? Обалдеть. Как интересно. Я спасибо. Ты по-русски, откуда вы все по русски Мы на разных языках говорим. Вау. И по-германски тоже? Нет. Ага. Ага. Gesundheit. Это я тоже только что знаю. Thank you. Hello, madame. Здравствуйте, hello. Здравствуйте. You speak Russian as well? Да. Amazing. У вас ваучер, да? У меня ваучер. Я не знаю вам, какой ресторан. Ресторан, да. Ресторан должен быть написано, да. Спасибо. Thank you, спасибо. Приятного. Классно как. А ложки, вилки где? I got my room. Look at this bed. Remote, but I don't know where the TV is. Oh, interesting. Little but nice. Toilet. Shower. Nice. Oh, wow, guys, this is quite cool. I don't feel so good guys, I feel seasick.
I'm not liking this. I thought my biggest worry was to get onto a ferry. And then I, ha I envisaged myself standing on the pier and looking at the sea and having fun. To be fair, if I was looking at the sea, I probably wouldn't feel seasick. Well, there it is. I wake up call 11 o'clock at night in about half an hour the one I'll tell you that was a wake up call and he's calling everybody out of their rooms because we have almost arrived in Ireland I didn't manage to get any sleep I did try I don't feel as sick anymore thank god I'm looking forward to getting off the ferry next time and then we're back. I'm not going to eat anything at all, like half a day before I board. It was not fun. <laughs> found it. I've almost lost my truck. I found some grey stairs and green stairs and I couldn't find any purple stairs. But then I found them. And then I don't remember which side I, I was on. Oh God, I feel so sick. Oh, so good job we stopped. Yes. Попробуй на одном пять. Ага. Да, я постараюсь так на левый чуть-чуть. Спасибо. Bumped into a driver here. He's literally right behind me. I have, um, as I was walking in, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I filmed some of it. And I said, which way do I go? I don't even know where to go. So he showed me the way. Announcement. Private call for somebody. So um, he showed me where to go. He showed me how to get the room key, um, cafeteria, whatever it's called. A bit of food. I wish I didn't have that food. I really do. Uh, yeah. Now he says, as you're coming out of um, of here into Ireland, into Dublin, there is a tunnel. But the tunnel is 4.6 or 4.65 meters and now i'm 4.7 so i'm not gonna be going to that one and he says i don't mind i'm going to begin with i'm going the same destination so i'm gonna overtake you and you follow me and then as uh, as i flash the lights you go left to uh to m50 or something it is i said okay fantastic i get some help no fui el primero, ni seré el último, pero sé que lo cosaré. Para serte sincero, un Dios el que te enseñó lo que puedes hacer con mi piel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y si se nos da, yeah, será lo que se va a hacer. The sea, you can see the sea. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, port exit. Port exit. Oh, this is so scary. Yeah, I'm gonna let him overtake me. Not on the bend, but over here. Yes, going. So now I'm following 12. Then I need to get some sleep as well. We've been driving for six hours. I've got two and a bit left. Two forty-five left. Six hours sixteen. I've been driving for I've got two hours to find somewhere to stop. because I'm going to need it. Oh. Do you want this one as well? No, you can have to take that off. Yeah. Okay. It was very scary. My first time on a ferry. <laughs> ah! 
Thank you very much. Right, we're out of here. He didn't want to check anything. Wow, guys, we're out. It's tight. I've almost missed the gorgeousness of being overly excited and scared. I don't know how much of this you can see, but there's a sea. <laughs> Ni seré el último, pero sé que lo cosaré. Para serte sincero, un Dios es el que te enseñó lo que puedes hacer con mi piel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y si se nos da, yeah. I stopped right on time now um, now I've got nine hours rest I'm gonna get my head down um, everything here is in kilometers not miles so I quickly had to change my dials so I know that I'm not speeding which is nice uh, it's nice that I figured out how to do it before I came here what else did I forget to tell you 
I think that's about it. Okay, let's get some sleep. See you tomorrow morning. Hopefully I can film some more for you. Let's hope services are open so I can go for a week. Um, this is nice and green. Looks like a BP, but it's uh, apple green. I've not seen a single BP yet, or so. And those are the only fuel cards I've got with me. So hopefully, I'll try and Google some of them. I'll try and Google all of them. Hopefully, uh, I'll find something. Because without fuel, I won't go very far. Services are all shut, but I found a bush. And I'm hoping tomorrow morning it'll be open. I'll brew my own brew if my kettle works. I've bought a new kettle that you plug into 24 volt. Um, so I've got high hopes for it. I've got bottles of water with me, but obviously if that goes uh, not to plan, I'm gonna, at least I have a backup plan of uh, buying a coffee. So I can carry on tracking. It's like uh, my truck won't go far without fuel. And I don't think I will go too far without coffee. It's only half past six, but I was dying for a week. So I decided I might as well get up, brush my teeth. Only that time and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you. I'm not as disgusting as you think. Um, I did have a shower on the ferry. Maybe tomorrow I'll have another one on the ferry. Alright guys, I'm not sure if I'll be able to go back to sleep, but whilst I'm trying to go back to sleep, I'm going to try and make some coffee. A uh, 24 watt kettle. Uh, people are saying, all the, all the truckers are saying that it takes forever and ever and ever, I've watched that time, to boil some water. So I only use a little bit, but what I normally do is I, uh, I use a flask and a mug. So when my mug coffee ran out, I refill it with a flask and that lasts me all day. I normally have about two, three coffees a day. That is it. Oh, I lost my uh, little bag. Okay, so this is not lemonade, this is pure water. I just used the bottle. Yeah. So I don't have to buy lots of water whilst I'm here. And I thought I'll fill it up to the top. So I got extra lots. Oh shit. But now it's going everywhere. It's okay, I've got loads of tissues as well. God damn it. Mm. Okay, note for next time. Let's not fill it up too much. Leave some boiling room. Ah. Not a proper trucker yet, am I? But I'm learning. I'm learning. I've got spare jeans too. Just in case this happens. At least my floor will be nice and clean. Actually. Silver lining, people. Silver lining. Yeah. Right, where's the lid? Here's the lid. Let's plunk it on. Then I have a lead. But that means I have to... Oh no, I don't have to unplug my fridge. I've got two 24 watt thingies cigarette lighters not that there's any cigarette lighters in them ever again anymore time's moved on please don't spill again I'll be your best friend I'll give you a hug and everything right that goes in then you screw it a bit so it stays tight I suppose And now it should take about half an hour to uh, to boil this. Plug it at 24. And yes, the light is on. Fantastic, I might have some coffee. If not, there's coffee there. Let's put it somewhere I'm not gonna spill it. 
floor down 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 there it's quite warm there as well so maybe it'll start boiling faster I love the road, but I still got about an hour, so I'm gonna see if I can make that coffee. Have been not lost my key this time. Another pocket. Right, let's see how my kettle is getting on. It's been it's been about an hour since I put it on, but I did put a lot of water in. Well, here my kettle has boiled. You can see there's a green light there which I'm guessing that means we're on. Now, the very biggest um, fault with this truck I have is there is no cup holder in, uh, in the truck. You, you've you got this tiny little one here. Oh, my cup doesn't fit in it. So what I normally do is I use this as I'm driving so it's empty and I use it to just keep my coffee in. I found this thing at the end of the bed uh, I presume for drinks and what's not weird place to have it but that's not very stable either so as I'm pouring hot hot water in I don't think that will work so another option I have is let me see if I can show you there's this fridge uh, there's this fridge and some holders here I'm not sure if it works I don't know how to turn it on but I could put my coffee in there coffee mug and start pouring it in maybe let me try this one. Oh, this one fits just about on. this one here this one here oh. get on the bed maybe you can see what I'm doing I don't even know what I'm doing again. I never do. Right, I got a little bit of coffee here with a spoon. One into here. At least if it gets messy in there, it doesn't matter because it's almost like a fridge. One and a half. I can just wipe it clean. Okay. An hour and a half later, I might have some coffee. Yeah, about an hour and a half. I need to store this very safely. I don't want to end up without a coffee. Right, from a kettle. Come on, kettle. Oh, I hope I'm not gonna spill hot, hot water all over me. In fact, before I pour it, I'm gonna get my cream because I have part of my fridge. I have my coffee with cream. Sometimes with a little bit of milk. Sometimes just cream. Oh, something spilled in here. Great. Oh, Still my life. Right. Cream here. Water here. Let's see how this works. You press this thingy and it opens up, and then you. It's very hot. It's lovely. You can see the steam if you can't see the water. I'm sure. I think that's it. I think I just one go. Oh no. Ah, not too much. Right, that one's done. A bit of cream in there. And close it up real fast. So it stays warm for as long as possible. However, if I'm gonna drink it now, normally I make a coffee at home. And then I go to work and it takes me a good 40 minutes to get to work, then to sort myself out, get into lorry find the lorry then I open it up and it's just perfect temperature so actually I'm gonna leave it open and I made it a little bit too full as well so I'm gonna leave it as it is coffee on the road not bad guys not bad I'm pretty like self-sufficient here I might have to boil some more water yeah that does about half a flask 
but I don't normally have a whole flask in a day so instead of wasting it I will have just that and then I can always boil it on my break in the daytime but cream lid happy days just gonna wait safely for this uh, for my coffee too okay we're not blowing up good I'm uh, gonna wait safely for this coffee to cool down. I'm going to FaceTime my mom because she's been on the phone and they said, I need to go, my coffee, my kettle, it's ready. So she says to go, 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 make yourself a coffee and then bring me back. What else did I wanna do? Do I want breakfast or not? I don't normally have breakfast. From the ferry, do I still have it? Yeah, from the ferry I had these, but I didn't eat it. So I might have that for my breakfast with the coffee. Good job I didn't eat it. I'd be even more sick everywhere. <gasps> it was not my favorite experience, but I'm thinking if I'm catching a ferry later on tonight, which hopefully I am, um, I need to eat breakfast and nothing else. Then I should be safe. <laughs> sort of fits in my door for a safe cool down. Unless I'm, if I'm driving, it probably won't. Well, I might use that as a good for leaving rubbish in here. Why not use the rubbish bag that I leave here? Anyway, um, yeah, as I'm driving with the lid on, I might just keep it there actually, instead of a cup holder. <laughs> I think I had some water leakage in there, so I'm going to take it all out and give it a quick wipe. I've got some milk in here for my cereals. I've got some fish, some more cream. Yeah, I'm pretty much sorted. Some skin at the top. The moment of truth. If it's not too hot. Mm. This is a decent cup of coffee. Considering it was made in the truck as well. It's nice. Pretty much like home. A bit hot though. But what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a lid on it. And I've got 40, 50 minutes left. So I think I'm gonna go for a walk for half an hour. Because I can't sleep. I don't wanna watch any more movie board I just want to drive uh, yeah let's go see what's out there okay guys we're off um, half past nine I've bought my card in ten minutes ago I'm ready to go I'm starting to get nervous again I wish I didn't uh, we're off to Cork is my timer I'm good to go. I've checked my pin, I've checked my doors, I've checked my curtains, I've checked nothing, nobody messed with my things, with my trailer, with my car while I was asleep. Uh, we are off to Cork. I will see you there. Or maybe I will see you on the way. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably see you on the way because what if it's gorgeous and beautiful here? I don't know yet. So far, all we've seen is Dublin. Bye. <laughs> Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately I've come. God, I'm going through a tiny little something. Um, I am in Mallow and in Castle Park. Castle Park. And 7 2. Left and right and left. Tight. It's tight and it's busy, there's traffic like. I've never seen traffic in Ireland. Not even through Dublin. There's something in store for us. We're falling in love. Summer ended, but we did not. We started something, this thing that we got grew stronger. Wow, it's a little 
velvet tights in here. Nobody's letting me out or in. Laurie's <gasps> going. Shit, the bed. box I'm still moving I'm still moving oh my god so tight that was crazy but I think I'm out of here so far Ireland reminds me of England mostly apart from these tiny little roads and 72 I'm on and I think and road is pretty much like an a road in England um, did you see the signs for the roundabouts they've got little arrows in them so cute they're not just stumps finishing they they have arrows to let us know that is the exit uh, but yeah it's not very hilly it's not very it's not different from UK at all pretty much Wales massively different very picturesque very amazing I'm going straight the traffic lights green but they're all not moving so I don't know So my truck's at now. It says keep going straight. 
straight on, straight on, straight on, and it takes me to, I think, a completely different place, even though I've Googled where I'm meant to be. I'm sure I'll put it in my sat nav, in my truck sat nav. Same sort of place, Station Road, Cork. But Google is taking me back. So, because Google, can I squeeze through here? Oh my god. Obviously, there's no postcodes in Ireland, as such, not to the place that I'm going to. But I'm pretty sure I put like Station Road, Cork. But obviously, there is more than one Station Road. But the Google should know by the address, shouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a pain! I wish they. Had, why don't they have postcodes? The second place I'm going to to pick something up, it's close. Uh, to ferry basically back with myself that one's got like a weird sort of post code but it's still a post code it's got like uh, num uh, letters first then two numbers then two letters again and then two numbers again <laughs> but i'm back on the main road now i made it so yay so i'm gonna go to the google place first and then if that's the wrong one then obviously it's wrong I just stopped for a wee and it's really, really beautiful. I'll show you. Look at these fields there. Gorgeous. I mean, they do look a little bit like English ones, but they smell amazing, like really fresh, really grassy. No cow poo. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. I bet when I, if I do manage to go for a walk here, I would really enjoy it. For now, I just decided to stop and have a look at my sat navs and pinpoint the point where Google is taking me on my track sat nav and my co-pilot so that I'm safe rather than sorry. Wednesday and it says they're closed. What? Mill Street Recycling Centre. This is me, but they're closed. Wednesday and it says they're closed. What? Mill Street Recycling Centre. This is me, but they're closed. Just messaged my boss. Um, so maybe somebody's meeting me here. Because why would he send me here? All this way, two sex, he's ringing me. Oh, somebody's ringing him. Awesome. Otherwise I'm stuck here for a day. And exploring the hills. Well, it might not look much different, but it's quite hilly to walk actually around here. Hello, you still there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, can you send me a load of pictures? Well, whilst bosses are deciding what to do with me, I think I'm gonna try and get some food. I have cereals that I had for breakfast, but because I had my um, twisty thing from the from where uh, from the ferry I had that for breakfast now I'm gonna have cereals for lunch I've got milk in here I'm 
milk in here too, but do I need so much milk? I don't know. Some left for coffee in case I fancy coffee with. I don't want to spill it. Coffee with milk rather than cream. Okay. A spoon. I only got a little spoon for my coffee, but I'm going to use it for my cereals. Pre planned. I knew that, I just didn't want to take too much stuff. See you after lunch. Quite lovely here when the sun is out. Look how gorgeous it is. So, as I'm waiting there to see what's happening, uh, boss says I'm at the wrong place. Uh, the place I need, even though it's the same name that they gave me. Anyway, the place that I need is one mile behind me. But, it's all countryside lanes and there's nowhere to turn around so I had to go and make a massive detour for about half an hour detour just to get to the place that I need to be so I'm racing it because I think they shut at 5 well I don't know what time they shut really but I presume 5 because most places are shut at 5 I don't have time to google it uh, Satnav says I'll be there at half past 4 half an hour to unload me hopefully then I'm done Excuse me, do you work here? Yeah. Um, is this Dairy Gold? Yeah, Excuse Dairy Gold Mill Street here. Ah, yes, I've got you a load of sheds. Of oh, sheds? Yeah, it's going straight down it's to the warehouse below. How do I get in? Just pull in here. Uh huh. You should be able to walk, fill it swinging in, just straight down here. Into into the car park, yeah? Yeah, in the straight down and then that way. Here, yeah. Okay, thank you. No, but how do you get out? Straight and then out? Oh, or swing it, yeah. Will you fit through? Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I have a load for you of sheds okay. from uh, UK, England. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. They sent me to the wrong place and then. Oh, Keter, is it? Keter, yeah. Keter. Yeah, perfect. Wow, well, how, what? Where's <laughs> your window? I was only around the corner where the recycling center is. Because uh, my boss said it was recycling centre. Then he's been on the phone for hours to find out where and what. You, you, where are you? you I'm just facing in yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, right down here. You can go down there to the lower yard there. Uh -huh. Shall I turn that around Anywhere first? There. You can turn around. We'll, we'll, yeah, and just we'll, anyway. We'll, yeah. we'll into you down there. I'll definitely fit through there, yeah? Uh -huh. It looks very tight. Oh, you'll go down there now. Easy, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The truck's going to be down there. Right? Okay, thank you. Hey. I don't get what this is about You Got my head spinning on my shoulders I Feel a burn inside of my chest See the lines as they blur out I can feel it knocking me out You're bringing me higher and higher in every way And all of my doubts I can feel them are fading away Oh, you're like a fantasy I know this can't be Glad I found you. Uh -huh. I'm glad I found you. It's a big toe. <laughs> wow, well, no, it's tiny. <laughs> it just helps that when they send me to the right place. Yes, I know, I've seen on maps. Yeah. Because I was literally a bit further, Station Road. Yeah. For some reason, they said. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I'm the same when I came here first. Yeah. <laughs> now I know. Tipping, I'm gonna get second coffee on the go. Mm. Get 
getting there, people, getting there. Managed a little walk whilst waiting for destruction. <laughs> Him, how do I get in first? So you told me now. They're all ever so nice. Beep beeping to say goodbye. <laughs> Lovely. And you good? Good stuff? Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Is that exactly what you wanted? Good. Because yeah. I went on the ferry with him. We didn't want them, but we put them here now. You take him, you take him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got last, did you? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a pick up in Dublin, Fashion City. You been there? I don't know. And then back on the ferry. Maybe home tomorrow, we'll see. <laughs> mad life. Crazy, crazy. First time on the ferry, it was really good. Very scary, but very good. Where? Oh, ferry. Oh, the ferry? Ferry, yeah, from... Uh, where did I go to? Holyhead to Dublin. Dublin. It's all right. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. You're too kind. Let me do because I got glass. No, you know I'm better. <laughs> what time you close? Uh, we, uh, we close at five. Uh huh. I thought it was five. No, no, sir. That's why I was racing. Okay, you want the sign? Where's Where's your home? Um, I live in Ditkot in Oxfordshire. But originally I'm from uh, Russia. 21. 21? How many is it on? Oh. That's five. I've been wrong now. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Five. 22. Yes! <gasps> you can go. Thank God, because I'm thinking, how, what can, how can I lose one? Because I have them strapped, everything. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. Are you closing the gates? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna see what boss says first. Yeah. You're going back for Dublin now, yeah? Dublin, I think so, I think so. It's four hours away. I think I have four hours. Hmm. I might do it. But if they're open or not, I need to find out. Because it's getting late. Oh, 10 yeah. 10 o'clock. Yeah. You go through Mallow, Mitchellstown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if I get there and uh, find somewhere to park close by, I go for the night. At least I'm there straight away first thing. It's your first time in Ireland? Yeah, <laughs> first time ever. It's good, it's nice. I went to see the castle on my break, just it's lovely. Very quick, because as soon as I got there, my boss says, right, wrong address, run, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, where did, you, where did you go first? Um, the recycling centre, just around the corner from oh. here. Everybody goes there, yeah? Yeah, sometimes they put the address on. Uh huh. I don't know why they don't give people the postcode. Postcode, yeah, I asked them, what's the postcode? They don't have postcode in Ireland, but you do because other places, do, yeah. and then eventually my boss gives me your postcode as well. Maybe he'll ring you first. Yeah, yeah. We uh, No, we have a postcode now for about two years. Uh huh, uh huh. Just I found you in the end, that's all that matters. Yes, okay, guys, um, two days later, my uh, freight is tipped. Happy days. Now, my boss says I'm not picking something up from. Uh, where? From Dublin, I'm going onto a ferry. But ferry leaves at uh, leaves. Ferry leaves at nine, and I won't make it. So he's trying to get me out of. Just pull up here a second. Myself out. Uh, he's trying to see if he can get me from Rosa, Rosslair, Rosslair. Must be another ferry. So I'm just gonna wait and see what happens.
say again? Chipping or dropping? Uh, reference, yeah. Are you dropping or are you dropping? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm empty. Okay, go. Are you uh, I've already delivered. <clears throat> 263. This is what? How do I go to uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I need to reverse? Reverse back here because it's not behind you. And then? No, and then just go over here. Left. Yeah. Oh, there's a fourth corner over here, okay? Oh my god. Ah. Yeah. So scary. <laughs> you but I found you oh, only just oh my god yeah yeah hey. all this thing yes <laughs> he says supposed to be on the last sailing oh how what, how do you know I've not even given reference yet okay go well, on give me your reference yeah two six now I say it <laughs> last one yeah, Supposed to be on the last sailing. Shoot. So, 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 what do I do now? Well, uh, the next sailing is actually full. Oh, well, what do I do then? Then, don't turn me away. I don't like Dublin. I mean, it's lovely and pretty. It's so pretty, but in my height, I'm a little bit fretty. <laughs> Are you gonna turn me around? Stick me on somewhere. Thanks. Oh my God. Do you want my trailer number? I got that ready too. C for Charlie, three for five. Uh, yes, yes, it's empty. I've just delivered. Well, just. <laughs> you know everything. How do you know everything? I like you. You're like God. <laughs> yeah, but how can you see inside my trailer? Ah, uh, oh, really? Is it like see, like makes it? X-ray. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the name? My name, yeah. Linda Traka. Now you're gonna make me tell all my secrets. Nationality. Hey, Russian. <laughs> Are you Irish? Yeah. You sound Irish. <laughs> I quite like Ireland. Very friendly people. <laughs> in here, lane number four. Four. So just where, where yeah, how? Do the U-turn. Oh. You turn and go right after that. You turn left in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, it's the fourth one away from the fence. And uh, we are running late. The ship is scheduled for two a.m. It is going to depart probably about three, three thirty. Okay. So lane number four. Yeah. Was this for nothing? It's a weight approximately fifteen tons. Mhm. Mm so all I need to know so is just four. put the pink thing in your window just so it's visible so that. Uh, somebody will call you. Okay, so you turn and then I'm going right. 
I made it into lane number four. I made it to Dublin Port. I was almost lost, I think. It was crazy. I found it. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was very, very stressful. Um, and I've only got one minute until my driving time is completely out. I tried to find services. A couple of times I went off the M7, I think I was on, uh, because it said services. But then as you come off, on the roundabout it doesn't say which way for the services so i'll go back straight back onto m7 oh island is confusing so i'm in lane four i've got three four four and a half hours to wait until the ferry because uh, i've missed my last one and this one is full but they said they will squeeze me on because i'm so little obviously <laughs> i'm also very very hungry but i'm not going to eat anything because I don't want to feel queasy when I'm on the ship again so I'm just gonna starve maybe get my head down maybe just starve maybe just relax or just starve a little bit more starting off the engines I had some sleep I had what did I have four hours and 25 minutes oh nice and now we're going on to a boat and hopefully I'm not gonna be sick. I'm still very hungry though. Oh, I really want some food. <laughs> I shouldn't feel this thing. And we're allowed out. 
this time yesterday it was raining it was uh, a lot of waves so we weren't allowed on the deck much at all today seems all right into my room don't know which one it is probably not the same number I feel much less nervous this time round I've got my toothbrush with me this time round so that I can brush my teeth and have a shower and uh, relax for five minutes I feel less tired because I managed some sleep because I wasn't so nervous amazing amazing well, I'm feeling much, much less queasy than last time. Um, much more rested. The key is to just be extra hungry. Just starve yourselves if you if you feel seasick. Which I never realised that I would, I would feel seasick. I drive so so much all the time. Why? Why do I feel sick in the boat? Anyway, hunger is the way forwards. Do not prepare to the vehicle decks up to your director to do so. As we have please take careful attention to our sons as we guide you during the vacation. Once again, apologies for this delay which was caused by the bad weather yesterday. I do hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much in our long journeys. We hope that you will have a pleasant time on board with us with WBS and we hope to see you in the near future. Thank you. Good morning. He says it's uh, 6 o'clock, we're almost there. Blah blah, get your stuff together, let's go. Okay. <laughs> But now we see the sea, so we're okay. Is this like five for Loris? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. I think maybe you go down, yeah, but I one. think I'm that far. Which side did I come from? I don't remember anything. This is my only second time. Right. Yesterday was my first. I was sort of... I took a picture of where my lorry was, you know, which deck. Yeah. This time I'm like, oh, I think I know what I'm doing. But now I forgot. <laughs> Oh, you'll get used to it. Man. I will, I know. Did you go on ferry a lot? I used to, but not so much now. Yeah. Where'd you go? Well, obviously UK. Yeah. Where'd you deliver? I always went to uh, Karen Ryan, Scotland. Oh, yeah. Away. <laughs> nice way, that is. Wales, the most beautiful, I think. Yeah, that Wales is. gorgeous. And you can't rush too much, so when you're going around the beds, you see everything. Yeah. <laughs> we went to the top deck to see the sea, but it's still dark. Can't right. see much. Yeah. All three drivers, please proceed to the car decks. Thank you. Hey, that's my lorry. We found it. That's great. Home sweet home. I'm back in the lorry. I thought I couldn't remember where I was, or I wasn't too sure. But actually, once you've done it once, you start to know what you're doing, more or less. Yay! found a lay-by somewhere by the coast uh, so I think I'm gonna go for a walk soon first thing first though I'm going to eat some food the salad that I got from the ferry now is the time now I'm gonna stuff my face uh, and I will see you when I'm on my walk probably because I don't think I'll sleep much more I had four hours in the lorry maybe an hour on the ferry and I'm pretty much sleep about five hours a night anyway so 
we'll see. Okay, Caesar salad for breakfast is demolished. And now we are off for a hike. I'm going to go and show you there's a river, there's a bridge, there's a, my footpath app says there is a few footpaths I can walk around here. I'm not sure if I can go under the bridge. Hopefully I can because I'm planning to walk for, I don't know, maybe four hours if I can. I didn't bring my walking boots because I already brought so much stuff, but my steel toe caps, I tied them up really quite tight so they're not going to wobble and give me blisters hopefully if they do it's friday tomorrow what am i going to do on friday drive sit and drive and then there's a weekend so i will nurse my blisters over the weekend and over the time that i just sit there and drive <laughs> so while i've got the opportunity of course i'm gonna go and uh, walk it stay with me Well, won't you look at this? There's Malaybay and there's the, I don't think it's the sea, but some sort of little, what do you call it? Zaliv in Russian. Um, it's very gorgeous. It's very, very beautiful. Just like the leftover of the sea sort of thing. And in the middle of that sea, there's a little house just there. Imagine living there. Unless it's like a lighthouse, I don't know. But it looks Amazing! Look at this view. We've got a bridge, a bit of sea, and another bridge. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. This is truly amazing, guys. Why would you sit in the car for hours and then get out there and see the world? Look how beautiful it is. It's just dawning, it's just the sun's just about to come up, so hopefully, it'll be even more beautiful in a few hours. Uh, so yeah, lots of pictures for you on Instagram and YouTube and keep watching. Looks like my lorry up there, but I hope it's not because mine should be parked up. Because I'm out gallivanting instead. Look at this. I've been walking this coast for a while now. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Well, it's two o'clock in the afternoon and my kettle is only just um, boiled, I think. It took about two hours, two and a half hours to boil. And I've made a coffee and I'm having a bone noodle. Yum, so hungry. At long last, my nine hours of rest is up. It's half past four in the afternoon now. Uh, I had a really good rest. I had some pot noodle and I had a croissant from the ferry that they gave me that, that I picked. I had a nice little hike. Now rest time is over. We need to get gone. Uh, I'm going to Leechfield to pick up a load from there to take it to the yard. Uh, it'll take me four hours to get to Leechfield. I'm also going to need to find an ESO station. I've not filled up once since I've been to Ireland. Um, because all I have with me is SO card and a BP card. I might find a BP actually on the way as well. Uh, and uh, in um, in Ireland, all all that I could see is Circle K, Circle K, Circle K everywhere. No BP, no SO, nothing. Googled lots of them, nothing. So now I've only got a quarter of a tank less, uh, left, maybe a little bit less. Uh, of fuel, so hopefully I will find petrol stations somewhere on the way and uh, I'll be nice and safe. <laughs>
Um, it's a good job that I have uh, um, filmed quite a lot of Wales for you already because it's getting dark. I'm losing light again. I'll be driving in the dark most of the night, I reckon. I don't know what time I'll get home, probably 11 or 12 at this rate. But we'll see one step at a time. Let's go to Lichfield, guys, and let's see what happens. Our trip to Ireland is pretty much over. At least I get to see a little bit more of Wales. Wales is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm very lucky. I found a fuel station. It's an SO1. Uh, only like 10, 15 minutes into my drive, which was very good. Filled right up. Now, actually, I'm not off to Lichfield. I am off to... Where am I off to? I'm off to somewhere in Amazon. And another driver will meet me there uh, in England. It's in Ellistown, Ellistown, Colville. So I'm going there. Another driver will uh, take over and he'll be in the van. Hopefully my van that I can take home. Well, whichever one I can take home. And I'm going straight from there, straight to home. Sleep. I think I'm almost here, so um, Amazon's uh, on my left, how do I get in? At the roundabout. I'm on the roundabout now. Is that you in the van just there? Yeah. Where, where do you want me? Let's just swap on the road, shall we? i just follow you, yeah? Hello? I've lost you for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll do, the first, I'll do the first bit, okay, then you just come in and go somewhere and park up in one of the bays, all right? Do I need to talk to them at the way, Bridge? No, I'm going to no, talk to him now, I am, oh, okay. okay. Bang. Right, bye. Oh. Hello, mate. <laughs> Are you rescuing me? Because I'm off home now. Uh, right, my fridge is on the way, come on in. I've got about half an hour to like try and get all my rubbish out of here because obviously half I've got. Half an hour, you've got like five minutes, love. Oh, you're joking me. I've got loads of stuff here. Right then, guys, how do you like me as a tramper? I'm a tranker. I'm a long distance hauler or whatever. Leave me a comment. Tell me whether you enjoyed being with me on my trip. I really rather enjoyed it myself. It was loads of fun. It was a long, long drive. I might be going again this Sunday. Sunday evening, so I still have a Sunday day with my family. Somebody asked me two questions. One of them I remember, he, he said, does my job get in the way of family life? And the answer is right here, yes it does. I don't see my family very much. Uh, I finish quite late, most days. Uh, but I make sure that I have Sundays. My husband works Saturdays. So it doesn't really matter every other Saturday I work if I can get the childcare. But Sundays I always have with, the, with my husband, with my family. I do something nice with them. Um, now, if I am going on a ferry into Ireland again on Sunday for three days, that'll be Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday back, I don't know. I've asked for a random day off through the week just so I can make up the family with my time so they don't get too upset for not seeing me. Uh, so that should be fun. Second question I cannot remember. Maybe I've written it down. I normally write things down so that I remember things otherwise they get lost in translation and they get lost all over the place. Let me see. Questions. Does my job go in the way of family life? Mm -hmm. uh, does it cost lots for all the training, license, etc? Uh, yes, the license to get yourself through license. I think it's about two thousand uh, pounds From what I remember I did it with an agency because they pay for everything not because I couldn't afford it I probably couldn't afford it to be fair But also a very good bonus is you get experience through the agency if you do it all by yourself Then you have to find a job uh, And without experience not a lot of places will take you on So best bet is to go with the agency you are in the contract with them for two years after that which is no problem because for two years they stick you in the job you go you do it and that's how you get your experience anyway um go and do it it'll be fun uh for now follow me on instagram lena.trucker uh keep watching my videos god knows where i'm gonna be next um spain france i don't know one day maybe for now i'm gonna stick to ireland uk nice nice 
Um, yes, enjoy. Keep in touch. Keep asking questions. Uh, leave comments. And I will see you on my next journey. Bye, guys.